Hi fellow travelers, today I'm going to be talking to you about the 10 small but useful things that you should be taking on every single one of your trips. These are things I have taken overseas, uh, on long trips, and they're things I take on weekend adventures. They are not necessarily things you probably think of right off the bat, but they come in handy more times than not. So, in no particular order, the first one are wipes. There are so many great wipes out there. Uh, I think mostly we just think of baby wipes and face wipes, but a whole plethora out there. Um, and you should definitely pack a few. Uh, if you're already packing a bunch for something else, then maybe you don't need to add these to your case. But uh, if you do, if you're not, then please throw a few in. There was this time in Australia where Robbie's uh, nail polish wipe remover could not have been more handy. Purple nail polish everywhere, disaster. Thank heavens for the little wipe that she carried around with her. So, you know, maybe grab a, a couple for different scenarios and stick them in your little emergency pack. Uh, the next thing are baggies. I like to take uh, two or three in different sizes. You just never know when you're gonna need to put some food, some sea glass, uh, a broken necklace, um, a wet swimsuit, the uses pretty much are endless. Um, and if you don't use them, then just bring them home and take them on the next trip. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I recommend pain medication. You probably should be packing some sort of first aid kit anyway, but at the very least, you know, slide an ibuprofen or Tylenol or something into your little useful kit. Safety pins. I can't even count how many times these have been a lifesaver. Uh, wardrobe malfunctions, bag breaks, the curtains won't close in, the, in your hotel, and the sun's shining through. Um, if you need to pin something, a document or something, inside of your clothes, super useful. They take up very little room. Looks like I have three different sizes there. But yeah, take, they're just a great thing to have. Um, nail clippers. Uh, you just think, what am I going to need nail clippers for? But the truth of the matter is, is if you get a hangnail and it's painful, you're going to wish you had these. And I don't even know how many of my travel companions have been like, do you have clippers? Sure do. Uh, in a pinch, they also work as scissors. If you need to clip or trim something. Along those lines, um, tweezers, you know, other than brow maintenance, these can come in handy for picking out a sliver, nothing worse than a sliver, uh, untangling a necklace, uh, various things. The best part is like, I got these from Sephora. Look how tiny they are. They don't take up any room whatsoever. So yeah, throw those in. We are big fans of duct tape. No, you don't need to hold the whole row. Look at this. Roll. Sorry. This little guy is maybe a foot worth. Just wrapped around a dowel that I had. Uh, again, so many times recently actually we needed some duct tape our door to our airbnb in bruges wouldn't stay closed so what do we do busted out the duct tape made sure it worked until someone could get there to fix it uh i recommend you grab a little bit of cash not much but it just doesn't hurt to have um, a spare 20 or 10 kind of shoved away not part of your spending money but just for in case of emergencies um Never, ever, ever leave home without earplugs. They're not just for airplanes. They're for noisy hotel rooms. They're for noisy bus rides. They're for any time that you just need your ears to have just a little bit of break or a buffer. So always carry these. Uh, last but not least, snacks. Uh, nothing worse than being hungry on the road. No one wants to be around you. You don't want to be around yourself. Uh, this is just one of those like fruit leather things and just some chocolate. And um, believe me, if you're in a pinch, these are enough to kind of get you through. And they don't take up very much room. Uh, so I like to keep all this stuff together. Uh, you certainly can pack it separately or, you know, put it in. If you're already packing the wipes per se, they don't necessarily need to go in here. But I find that by keeping this all together, I actually just don't really unpack this when I come home from trips. Um, I just put it with the rest of my packing stuff and then when I go on the next trip I just pull the same little pouch look all those all those ten little things fit in this tiny little pouch um, that I can either throw in my purse or put in my bag 
Uh, there's plenty of, you know, pouch options, especially if, if maybe your stuff takes up a little more room or you have a few other things. Um, you could get yourself a nice little drawstring pouch. Um, or you could uh, purchase something really cute that zips up. But regardless, I do recommend that you pack these 10 small, useful things. I promise you they will come in handy. Um, let us know if you have used any of these items on your trips or travels, or if you have any small, useful items that you would not dare leave home without. And uh, be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week.